I started off in knitwear to see if any sweaters caught my eye. I think that's definitely a gap in my wardrobe for fall. So I wanted to see if there was anything that, you know, I felt like I needed. And you know what, to be honest, there wasn't too much. I made my way to outerwear though, and this little cropped vintage jacket, it was textured, it was so cool. I really loved this one. Next, I made my way to tops. And the way that I scan is just honestly by looking for prints and patterns and colors and fabrics that I like. Um, that's how I kind of can go there and find stuff really quickly and I don't have to sift through every single hanger. This sweater caught my eye because it looked like a Muppet or something and you know I like anything that's a little different. And also this lime green polo I thought would have been really cute but more for spring, not for right now. So I'm sticking to fall. Of course the sequins are going to make me stop. I love anything that's sparkly and glittery and you know I love leopard print too. This leopard print button down stood out to me but someone please stop me from getting more leopard print tops I have so many this top also I thought was really cool I loved all the beadwork at the neckline there I didn't need it but I thought it was cute also here's a hot tip don't forget to check the Halloween section at your thrift store I have found some amazing pieces that are definitely not part of a costume that I would have missed had I not checked it out this is also kind of random, but in the winter when I wear all my fur trapper hats, I always get so many comments and questions on where I got them and they're always at the thrift store. Here I am trying on, I am loving flannels right now, going back to the 90s apparently in my fashion. And I also really liked this rugby top. I know I could style it just pretty much how I'm holding it up right now with my glitter boots and some shorts. I loved this animal print jacket. It was really fuzzy and super cool. It was definitely vintage, but unfortunately it was in really bad shape and it was missing a lot of like, there were some beads on it and it just, not the best quality, but it was really cute. Hi everyone, welcome to Style by Lauren Ryder. If you're new here, I'm Lauren. I love thrifting and taking things that I find and mixing and matching and playing around with my closet. If that sounds good to you, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. I make videos every week. And follow me on my Instagram at Style by L Rider. I try to post my outfits every day. They're my stories. But I have a quick little haul for you today. I did a very fast thrift trip, like under 30 minutes. And I actually went to two places. In the first place, Savers. And then the second place, Goodwill. The reason why it was so quick at Goodwill, I'll explain. Um, I already knew what I was going to purchase there. But first, starting off with my pieces from Savers. So I don't know if you can tell from right now, but I am very into 2000s, early 2000s fashion. Take me back to 2006, you know, and on when I was in college. Like, I'm very into the flannels and, you know, the indie sleeves grunge with the faux furs and, you know, scarves and all of that kind of stuff. So I wanted to pick up another flannel. I know you guys saw me recently thrift a red one. Um, so I found this white and gray flannel. It is like the perfect oversized fit. Oh, this one's actually from Old Navy too. It's a boyfriend shirt. The other one is from Old Navy originally too, but it's just super soft and worn in. And this was $5.99. And then, whew, sorry, I'm out of breath. I just like ran up the stairs. <laughs> um, the next piece that I picked up, this rugby shirt. So, you know, I'm very into rugby shirts and I felt like this would be perfect to throw on all my pins and stuff. Speaking of, which I will show you a new pin that I also picked up, but um, this one is originally from Target. Um, it was $7.99, brand new. And I just love the coloring on it. And I think this pairing back to like even my little running shorts or some, I don't know. I love incorporating like maybe some brown tones with this. Even my like sequin boots would be fun. So this I know will be a great piece to style. And then moving it to the accessories. So I picked up this pin here which I am obsessed with it's super sparkly it's not really like a particular shape or anything but what I imagine doing with this is even like let me see if I can show you but even just like 
putting it on the edge of my shorts, whether it be running shorts or denim. Um, I love the idea of doing that for fall um, or even, you know, just putting it on my top and wearing it like a normal pin. But yeah, that was $10.99. And then the next piece I picked up is very Y2K, um, but it is this cross keychain bag charm thing. This was also $10.99. It looks brand new, you know, never been used. But this, again, you know me and my like charms. I definitely am going to put this either on my bag. Let me grab it. Okay, so I think definitely like putting it on my bag something like that would be super cute. Um, or you guys know how I am about my belt loops and belt charms. So if I'm wearing, you know, some denim shorts and then again, just putting this on my belt loop, I actually got a belt recently too that I thrifted that has crosses on it. So I think that will go perfectly. And then the final piece that I picked up. So I originally found this on one of my Goodwill trips and it was one of those things where I found it, tried it on, fell in love with it. And then when I went to pay for it, I realized that it didn't have a tag on it. And I was so bummed because I, you know, I go to Goodwill all the time, all the time. And um, that's never happened to me before. And they wouldn't sell it to me. They wouldn't make a tag for it. They said I had to come back and find it once they put it back out on the floor with a tag, which, you know, I totally understand. But I was, I was going to be devastated if it wasn't there. But I went back today and it was still there. So it was meant to be. And it is this incredible vintage sequin crop like bolero jacket by Lawrence Kazar. And if you are a vintage lover, then you know who Lawrence Kazar is. But definitely it's known for a ton of sequin pieces and like embellished jackets. And I'm obsessed with this. I love the shoulder pads. I love the scallop edge detail on it. And um, I do have a lot of sequin jackets, but not like a cropped one like this. And it's in like perfect condition. So I'm so excited about that. Oh, and this was $12.99 once they eventually repriced it and put it back on on the floor. So that was my recent thrift trip. I hope you enjoyed my recent pickups and were inspired to uh, check out your local thrift stores and see what you can find. You never know what you're going to find. You just have to go often and keep an open mind. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Please don't forget to like this video and share and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next week.